IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm at the Intercontinental Hotel in Greenwich today for the Summertime Brawl final press conference. With me, I've got British title holder Frank the Wise Guy Bullioni and trainer Don Charles. Um, boys, how are you? Very well, thanks, Sonny. That couldn't be better. Good. Don looking very casual and smart as usual. I like the way you mix it between both. I'm a stylish guy. You are. You <laughs> Even yourself. if I say so myself. Really? Frank, he makes, you, he makes you look terrible, mate. Well, this is what we're doing, Andrew. We're always trying to outdo out one another, and that's why we, uh, we improve. You would never be able to rock a leather jacket and a hat. <laughs> I can tell you that for nothing, Frank. Um, Ricky Summers is your opponent. Um, was meant to be, obviously, a while ago. Injuries or cuts, whatever happened in sparring. Yep. You're back, you're ready, and it's happening. Yeah, we had, um, obviously had a great fight with Jose Burton, um, December 10th, that we trained very hard for. And um, a lot of people forget when, when it comes to Jose Burton. Um, that was the first real test myself and Don had together. Um, and it was, I've had 90 seconds in a professional ring um, in over a year leading up to that fight. So um, uh, ring rust to say the least, but I, I had such a good training team in Don Charles, Lou Britannia, um, Ian Dubry and Tony Peel that it kind of just, it felt, it felt seamless and uh, I'm, I'm so confident moving forward. Um, now that I've had more uh, match practice, I'm, I'm excited to, to show what I can do. I spoke to Eddie yesterday in his interview and he said that it's gonna be a good fight if Frank's in it. He's never involved you know, in a boring fight. If Frank Leone's in the fight, you know it's gonna be one you wanna watch. Uh, I think it's gonna be more one-sided though, this, uh, this time around. I think he means because you just make it a good yeah, fight I think way. It's just a style, your style, you, you come to fight. Yeah. That's yeah. what he's meaning, they, you know, uh, you come to fight. You, you trying to be bring, offensive, Frank? You bring, you bring action, that's what people like. True, true. true. You bring action? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw lots of shots, um, so it, it, in, in that way it'd be exciting, but it won't be as exciting as what the Jose Burton fight was, is what I meant as well. Um, because Jose Burton was, was a dangerous adversary, he was landing good shots, I was landing my own, so it was... It was to and fro. Um, I think this time it's going to be more me me throwing, avoiding, slipping, blocking, counter punching his shots. Um, thanks to Don and all the work that he's done with me, himself and, and Luke Portania. Well, see, Don, the man that needs no pads. That's what you're known as now. Um, there's a, a lot of things I do with boxing that the general public won't see and won't. Every so often I give them little. Little bit by little. Yeah. Little, little spring you know, listen, everybody's got their own um, thing going on. I've got my thing going on. Um, everybody's an individual, and um, that's basically it. Um, yeah. Obviously, you work, you've worked with Derek Chisora for a while. I mean, so you know what, what it's like to have a, a tricky customer in the gym. But with Frank, is he an easy man to work with? Easy is not a big enough word to describe this young man here. I've always been very. Uh, how can I complimentary uh, towards all my fighters? Um, with where Frank is concerned, like I said, immaculate is the only word I could find in the English dictionary. Immaculate in every which way, immaculate conception. <laughs> and um, yeah, he, um, how, how can I put it? There is not, this is the type of guy every young man who's come into the sport should look uh, to becoming the way of life. It's a way of life, yeah? Okay, I don't have to call him to say, by the way, you need to get an early night. He, I'll call, he won't pick up, because I know he's in, he's in. And next morning, first thing he'll text me, sorry, coach, I was, in, I was asleep already. That's the kind of guy. He leaves, sleeps, eats, um, breathes boxing. Yeah, I, I think, um, and the, the amount of effort that Don puts into his training, into his gym, um, it's only fair that I return that by being dedicated and living my life the way I do in the gym, outside of the gym. So if I turn up, Don's always smartly dressed. I mean, even for training, smartly dressed and ready in his training gear. And it's, it's just nice to come into that. Okay, my coach is ready, I'm ready. So there's, there's little triggers in the mindset. And uh, I know when, if I turn up to the gym, even on a Saturday morning or when it's meant to be my day off, Don will be there. If I want to train, he'll be there. If I want to, when we go running over Hampstead at seven o'clock in the morning, Don's there. So it's, it's a great team and the confidence I get off Don's um, commitment is massive. Don, uh, obviously Frank has been in the circuit for, how, how long ago did you turn pro now, Frank? I turned pro in, well, my first fight was November 2011. I was in the gym, summer 2011. 
a long time. I mean, have you come across a pro that's more dedicated to the sport than this man here? Everybody's dedicated, everybody I've worked with, but some more than others. I mean, this is the, I can honestly say I'm absolutely enjoying it, where the person, the professional, the word professional, you've been professional in every which way, um, it makes my job and my life a lot easier where he, it's easy work, easy work for me. It really is. I mean, I know he's always been dedicated. I mean, the, the TKO days, I remember I began, I'm not saying the boxers, but we'd go down the calf after training and then he'd be, about, what was it, about four or five years ago now? Yeah, Long time ago, when you were sitting there teaching me what quino is. Quino, is it quino? Quima. Quima. <laughs> so he's like, I still don't know it now. I was like, what are you eating? And he's like, quino. I was like, what yeah. is that? Everyone's going down the calf and he's sitting yeah. there with his yeah, healthy that's, meals. That's the character you've got. That's, yeah, a, no, that's the athlete you've got. That, that is something that, that pays off later in life. And, um, I, all the experience that I've gained over the years, um, and I've I've lived lived uh, well. And people turn around and say, "Oh, you've been in some wars. You're not going to have a long career." But I don't see it like that. I think if you you can be in the wars, providing that you do the right thing and you live life um, correctly as a sportsman, and then um, you recover from these hard fights within two weeks if you're eating the right foods, not abusing your body, um, no substance abuse then within two weeks, you're fresh and you're ready to go again. I think it's the hard fights with a hard lifestyle, that's what catches up with you. Do you think that's where some boxers go wrong? You see boxers that have been in an absolute war and then they go and get on the razzle for the next three weeks. Well, yeah, exactly that. Um, you look at someone like Bernard Hopkins, he's been in a few hard fights, um, but he went on to for such a long time because he, he looked after himself and obviously the experience that he took on, he started schooling these younger guys because he had the experience and he had the physical attributes. So that, that, that's, they're the sort of people I look up to and try and try and imitate and, and go on. And, and the longer I've got Don Charles in my corner, the more I'm going to improve and uh, go on and do bigger things. Well, if you keep eating right and having them early nights, you'll be looking like that man at his age. <laughs> and then you'll be, well, then you'll be happy. But you, just, you, still, you, but you still won't dress like him, even at that age. You still he's got his own flow, man. He's got his own style. He's the, 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 the wise guy. Frank, you're going to have to cut it short, sir, because you've got Sky. Yep. There you go. Look, I've been called away. That. that is that. Good evening. Frank Leone, Frank Leone's IVL TV, Don Charles, Frank Leone's IVL TV. And I'll catch up with you both soon. Let's go, Top champ. Man.